The news from Merck and Ridgeback Biotherapeutics that they've created an antiviral pill that can reduce COVID-19 hospitalization and death by 50% has been hailed by health experts. Director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, Dr. Anthony Fauci, views this as an important breakthrough. This is certainly an important advance. There's no doubt about that. Whenever you have an orally administered medical intervention that directly attacks the virus and has the kind of data that Merck announced with their announcement where they had a 50 percent decrease in the hospitalization. Uh, the trial was designed to be given to people early in the course of infection. Uh, it's an orally administered drug that's really very important. It was compared to a placebo and the endpoint that does it reduce the risk of hospitalization or death. Vaccination rates in some countries are much lower than health authorities would like them to be. In Grenada, for example, just a little over 23% of the population has taken the AstraZeneca and Pfizer vaccines, which are available. Dr. Fauci was asked whether the replacement of this pill reduces the need for people to get vaccinated. Uh, in my opinion, as a public health person, absolutely not. It is always better to not get infected than to get infected and rely on um, a drug to protect you from getting uh, advanced disease. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to say, it doesn't matter, I get infected, I get a drug. No drug, by any means, is 100% effective. And look at the study that went into the Merck drug. It's a quite good uh, result, which is a 50% protection. So a 50% decrease in the, in the incidence of getting into a severe situation requiring hospitalization and may leading to death. Remember, there were people on the treatment arm who actually did not have a successful result. The best way to avoid getting into a hospital is to don't get infected. The best way to not get infected is to get vaccinated. So far, one antiviral drug has been approved to treat COVID. Remdesivir is given intravenously to sick patients in the hospital. It is not meant for early widespread use. Experts have said developing an oral antiviral could be the next chance to stopping COVID-19. A short-term regimen of daily pills would aim to find the virus early after diagnosis and prevent symptoms from developing after exposure. Merck has been producing doses while waiting the study results and expects to produce 10 million by the end of the year. The pill would become the first oral medicine that fights viral infections for COVID-19 if it is approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for emergency use. Merck said it will seek FDA emergency use authorization as soon as possible. For GBN News, Janelle McDonald.